check it. It says V E G A N, but it's backwards because I want you to ask me why. Good morning, friends. Wow, this is weird. I haven't vlogged in a very long time. I feel like I say that all the time whenever I take a little break from vlogging, but anyway. Hi, I am officially back and I totally forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging today, so it's like 10.38 right now, which actually it's fine because I woke up at 9.40, like I woke up an hour ago. I was supposed to wake up three hours ago, but instead of pressing snooze, or instead of pressing, yeah, instead of pressing snooze for that five minutes, I just didn't even press it at all, so I fell back asleep and then woke up at nine, which is fine because I don't have any school right now, so it's not like I have anything to stress out about, but for some reason, waking up later than I wanted to is a really big pet peeve of mine. I just get so upset with myself for waking up late. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm about to go to the gym. I really can't figure out what I want to wear right now. This is, let me show you guys the selfie mirror version. So this is what I'm wearing right now. Um, I got this shirt from Vegetarian, sorry, excuse the dirty mirror. And then I just crop cut it. And then this is pants from Fabletics because I really wanted more high-waisted um, like legging stuff and Fabletics had it. And they had that like first two pants for $19. So obviously this isn't my first subscription to Fabletics. I just used a different email because I really wanted leggings. So I have these and then another pair that I don't like as much, but I canceled my membership and I already wore them and washed them. So I can't return them. Okay. I have a confession. I tried to change like five times into three different gray shirts and still didn't come out with better ones. So I was like, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> So, just got back. It is now 1.30. I got vegan pizza. Well, I didn't really get pizza. Like, he wanted pizza, and then I was just like, okay, I'll have a slice. And now I'm back, and I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl, but look at how huge this is. Hi, Mom. Yeah. We didn't have any frozen bananas, so I just made a smoothie. I still wanted my little smoothie bowl fix, so I just put a small amount, actually just what couldn't fit in here, into this cup, and then I put some granola and frozen blueberries on top. I come in here and my room just looks like a mess. Well, it's just like this area. This is nice. This is clean. But this gets really messy because I just throw things on top of here because I don't like throwing things on the floor. And then this just fell out because it was really heavy and there's something wrong with this drawer. So I just left it. And there's a lot of stuff going on over here too. It is now a couple of hours later. As you can tell, I have not taken a shower yet. When I went to the gym, oh, what's going on with my hair? Uh, my gym session wasn't even that intense. I wasn't even sweating at all. So all I've done these past couple hours is edit a video and post it, attend to emails, and then just take care of some stuff on the computer while I'm hanging out with my brother in his room because I don't know, he's just in there sleeping. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna hang out. Now I have some coconut water. Oh, and I am watching this like 25 minute documentary movie, mini movie, with Janae Aiko in it. Pretty cool, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then after that, I'll probably have to do some yoga. Okay, so I decided that I know what I'm gonna do right now. I kind of wanna go through all of my vegan shirts and just show you guys which ones that I have because I feel like a lot of you guys have asked me before what my vegan shirts were and I just have so many, so I'm gonna go through them right now and show you. Okay, so I have all of my shirts on my bed over here. Two or three of them I think are in the hamper because I wore them already and one of them I am wearing. I'm gonna go through it really quick. I'm not really gonna put them on. I will do my best to find where each shirt is from and maybe put the like the website or the name of the brand on the screen so you guys can see it. But this one is, it says, time to turn up the beat. But these two were both for my godmother and she got them from a farmer's market and they reminded her of me, obviously, because I mean, who else would this remind you of in your family? Like if you don't have a vegan in your family, why would you, why would you get this shirt? Just kidding, this is open to everybody. You know, if you're not vegan, but you like kale and you like vegetables, definitely go for these. Cool. I'm not trying to sell anything either. I feel like I automatically am. I'm not. This is from Vegan Emily on Instagram. It was actually a full size shirt before I cut it because I like to cut my shirts into little crop tops. Maybe this isn't the best thing. Okay, I like to um, cut my shirts into little crop tops because I think they're cute like this. And then it has a little bow. You'll see that I've done this to a lot of my shirts, like this one. This one just says, I make muscle. I don't eat it. 
This is also from them. It says avocados, kittens, and coffee because avocados, kittens, and coffee. I don't have a kitten yet, but you know, when I do, this shirt will be 100% relatable to my life. But right now, just gotta manifest it. This one says California Vegan Republic. This was one of my earliest ones. It just says vegan on it. It's supposed to mean like vegan for everything. This was also another early vegan shirt, Banana Salesman. I got this literally, like actually two years ago, my first summer being vegan. I bought this from a potluck from one of my friends because I was um, obsessed with bananas. <laughs> this is a school shirt, this is a school shirt. This isn't vegan, but Sade. Also, this isn't vegan, but Bone Thugs. Another one of my very first, like very early vegan shirts just says plant eater because it's a strong rhino, but you know, it uh, eats plants. This shirt is from Ethics and Antics. It says Nagev. The purpose of it being backwards is so that it's not so blatant to people like vegan because I know some people can get very put off by just a very bold vegan. So I think their purpose was to make it a little bit more approachable but still have the same kind of message so if people come up to them and they're like oh what does your shirt say then i could be like yo girl check it it says v e g a n but it's backwards because i want you to ask me why or what it says and also from them is this shirt it's just another black but on the back it says v gang and i also cut it and uh, put like little slit thingies here so I could tie it into a cute little knot and I could wear it with high rise denim or at the gym, which is usually where I wear my vegan shirts. Here is this shirt. It says powered by plants and it is a crop. I didn't cut this crop. It came like this guys. Honestly, there are like so many. I don't know if you're still watching this and you didn't skip through it. Good for you. I really applaud you. This is from Crazies and Weirdos. This was a lot softer before, but I've worn it so many times, but it just says, eat what elephants eat. These are from Love Misa, and it's just, it's really simple. You know, it just says vegan on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Then there's another one that says milk, but it's like plant milk. I have this boxy crop top from Angie and Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. It's very, you know, flowy, very casual, very, I'm about to go eat an all-you-can-eat Ethiopian plate right now and um, don't really want to show you guys that I have a food baby afterwards so I'm gonna wear this loose shirt which is cute but also hides it. <laughs> I just got this shirt and I just recorded in it too but I took it out in the hamper because I just think it's so cute. It's like Stranger Things but vegan things. It's from Carmivore Apparel. It's a good spin, you know? People see it and they're like, oh, that's clever! Because I thought that was clever. This is from I Apparel. It says, Papi Soy Vegana. You know, to like let them know. This shirt is from In The Soul Shine. It actually came as a high neck thing. I don't know if I have another shirt that's like that. Kind of like this one where like it comes up to the neck. So like a muscle crop. But then I cut it like this because I like the way that scoop neck or u-neck tank tops look. So I just kind of customized it to my own. And then I have this one from Herbivore. It's just a tank top and it says Herbivore. But I, again, it was like a regular tank top, but then I cut it to be a little halter top because I thought that was super cute. I really like halter tops. They're very easy to wear, you know, don't have to wear a bra. Well, you don't really have to wear a bra anyway, ever. No one's ever gonna make you wear a bra, but it's just nice because you get a little back going on, a little back action. Spread love and peanut butter because peanut butter is love. Unless you're deathly allergic to peanut butter, then almond butter, but if you're deathly allergic to nuts, then um, you know, just spread love. Just spread love. I think everything else is from Vegetarian. Look at all of these. She puts the clothes on my back. This shirt is from Vegetarian. It says, Life's a Peach. This is a, it's like a long sleeve, not a sweater or jacket. It's just like a long sleeve shirt. Like, the material isn't really that thick. It's just nice for those windy nights, I guess. Or if you want to wear it under a denim jacket, it's cool too. She also has muscle tanks. Unicorn. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear it a bunch of times. These shirts that you guys are gonna see are like, you've seen them. You know, if you watch my videos, you know what I wear already. Let us eat plants. There are these shirts that are very near and dear to my heart. It says, don't be eye candy, be soul food. This is a collaboration that I personally did with Taryn. The whole meaning of it is just, you know, don't just be amazing and beautiful on the outside, but also 
from within as well. But it also comes in a baseball tee. I'm sorry for what I said when I was under carb. This is the original I'm sorry for what I said when I was under carb shirt. I've actually had this shirt for a very, very, very long time. And by very, very, very long time, I mean like two years. That has. And along with this tank top, there are also t-shirts. One of the vegetarian originals is not milk because it looks like got milk but it's not milk and then this shirt is really dirty i don't know why i think i stained it or something when washing or mixed it with something because it's clean but it's just stained you are perfect it's also one of my faves and i cut it into a crop so i could wear it with high-waisted things or at the gym if looks could kale and i also turned it into a crop tie thing because i thought it was Super, super cute, which it is. This V for veggies tank top and the original vegan AF tank top. And I missed a shirt that's not vegetarian, but this is from Badass Vegan. It says No Way Jose, because no way as in no way sports drinks or protein powders and stuff. I think that's all, those are all my vegan shirts. I have a couple vegan sweaters also from Vegetarian and from Ethics and Antics, but they are packed away right now. So these are my shirts. If you're interested in any of them, definitely check them out. If I didn't leave the link or information to any of them, feel free to comment and ask where it's from or send me a DM or email and I will try to get back to you on that. Time to actually clean all this up now because I just threw them all in front of me. Love myself for that. So here is some progress on stuff that I've done today, which is close to nothing because I just get distracted by Twitter so much lately. So much. But I did a vegan cuts taste test with, taste test with my brother. And then now the lights are off and it's dark because I'm walking downstairs. And then I just hung out a little bit in my room. I ate dinner and then took a shower. And now I'm going to make some food. Not for myself, but like I'm gonna cook it for later because I've been meaning to. Because I know that if I don't, when I get hungry, I won't know what to eat. And so if I just make food now, then I'll have food later. Food prep, meal prepping. All right, I put the little puppies in the fridge. And there's a cute little thing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like shaped like a heart because I have a little bit extra, but I made a double batch of the meatloaf, and so there are two loaf pans in there. And thought I would show you guys these sprouts that I sprouted yesterday, or I started sprouting them yesterday, and I could actually eat them right now, but I'm just gonna let them sprout a little bit more. I did eat a lot of them for dinner, but I like when the tails are a little bit longer and I'm just, you know, sprouting some lentils. It's been a really long time, super easy. It's really only been one day since I started sprouting these and they're already ready to eat. This is going to be the end of the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time, hopefully really soon. Maybe tomorrow if I feel a little, a little crazy. Okay, bye.